been enjoying the nicer sunshine and the warmer temperatures as the winter starts to fade away and the spring comes on. I'd really like to make a, uh, a chair to enjoy the sunshine in, especially on reenactment activities. G'day guys, my name's Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem on this channel. You'll find lots of reviews into medieval gear. You'll find lots of DIY videos into costuming and furniture. And you'll find lots of uh, analysis of historical events, battles, personalities, who were the key figures and why certain events took place in the way that they did. Today we're going to make a Viking style sun chair or stargazer chair. We don't know necessarily whether it was the Vikings who invented this chair or not. There's absolutely no evidence to suggest either way. Um, a lot of my friends who are into Viking reenactment suggest it in fact was the Celts. We really really don't know. So whether or not you want to call this a Viking sun chair or a Celt chair or a hobo chair or whatever you want to call it. It's one of those really nice chairs we can sit down and relax in and just enjoy the sunshine and look, and look up at the stars and let our imaginations run wild. Alrighty, so let's take a look. First thing we're going to make is the seat section which also doubles as the lower part of the um, seat, of the chair. And that's now the first section cut, it's as simple as that. I'm going to use a router to smooth off the side and give it a nice sand. I will then stain and varnish this at the end of the project. Uh, that's now the first section cut, it's as simple as that. I'm going to use a router to smooth off the sides and give it a nice sand. I will then stain and varnish this at the end of the project. The next piece I'm going to do is the back of the chair. Alrighty, here we go, here's the detail for what we're going to do. Cutting out a small section on the bottom. That rectangle is where the seat post is going to go. And then we've got some nice uh, work to do up at the top. Alright, let's get into it. Everything's now cut out. I'm going to go around everything with a, a light router just to give everything a nice smooth edge. Alrighty. So the actual woodworking itself is now all done. Now I just need to get that sanded down a little bit and get some stain on it. Righto, there we go, all done, all finished. Everything's nice and dry, perfect. I'm so happy with this. Real simple project, cost me around about $50, and it's a great way to spend a couple of hours on some camping gear. 
Oh, really, really, really happy with that. Let's try it out. Yep, very happy with this. Uh, it's a really good piece of kit. I'm so, so happy. Uh, well, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe and share and I will catch you in my next video.